Yes, we do. All right, folks. Give us a minute here to see if we're on and connected. All right, let's see here. Yay! Wow! That is getting quicker all the time. Yeah, man. All the time is getting quicker. I don't think it's Facebook. I think it's uh, Brother Joel here, the producer. Talk about something things. that works really uh, really quick. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> hey, guess what time it is, Joel? Well, what time is it all, well, all of a sudden? All of a sudden, it's a uh, time once again for Smack and Jack Live here in lovely Southern Chester County, Yay. southeastern Pennsylvania. So we got a great for show for you today. Grab your cup of coffee, uh, sit back, relax, and we will be right back. All right, off we go. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smacky Jack Live with your co-hosts Keith and Joel Wonderland. Again, our audience yeah. is a little, little, uh, little, a little slow to haven't quite Respond. got their coffee yet. Yes. Respond. Morning, folks. Good morning. Linda's watching. What's going on? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Carly. <laughs> See you down there in Florida. <laughs> uh, lovely Florida. What is? How comfortably warm does it have to be in Florida? <laughs> Maybe Carly can tell us. Yeah, Carly. It's warm how, up here. how is it down there? Because it feels like Florida. It's got to be up soup here. up here. It is. It has been humid. For, close, as they say. Uh, is, who's they? I don't know. It's close. <laughs> I, uh, okay. I, anyway. But it has been so humid up here recently. It's either been uh, rainy or humid or just really hot for like the last month. Yes, it and, has uh, been. Yes, I, I It's can, summertime, but you know, next month this time we'll be saying, man, I miss summer. Yes, right. But right. anyway, so yeah, okay, what do we got going on today, Joe? Okay, okay. fun Fun packed show today. We do, you. we do. We have uh, our announcements. Okay. We'll get to them in just a minute. Uh, our joke of the day, of course, and then um, our Smack and Jack website. And okay. we're going to go yeah, over. Yeah, how's that coming along? We're going to find out. We're going to go over uh, some um, updates to our website. We'll show you how to, we did that. Facts of the day, trivia questions. We're, we're changing that format a little bit. Okay. Because we were always on the forefront. A little bit more user friendly. Yes. I think. Yeah, probably or so. We listener friendly. We should have thought of like a month ago. Um, and then we'll do our birthday minute. Okay, sounds okay. good. Okay, so All let's right. get on to uh, number one. What was uh, it? Uh, yeah, go ahead. What's wrong with the uh, for, what's wrong with our clap track this morning? <laughs> uh, we still have uh, stickers and magnets, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let us know. That's the sticker. Sticker that uh, goes anywhere, indoor, outdoor. Yeah, yeah it's a great it's sticker. about an eight-inch sticker. Here's yep. a, a five-inch magnet. These work really well in the back of your car. As well as your uh, refrigerator. Yeah, and, refrigerator, you know, rental car, whatever. You know, anything exactly. you're not quite sure you want to try at the Smack Jack Magnet for a while. And then you want to go full time with Big the time sticker. Big time with the sticker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, this is this is actually one you can put on your neighbor's car. And they won't get incredibly upset because, right. um, you know, they, they can move it. When you go over to dinner on your way out, slap. Right, you know, there you go. Right there. Yep. Right there. Um, so, let's see. Um, in addition to that, we have uh, our uh, kind of our new segment that we're weaving into. Well, a little bit of a new segment. Everybody yeah. knows uh, that knows me personally knows I'm a little grumpy. And, uh, you know, I figure I might as well just tell everybody what my complaint is of the week. Yeah. Last week I had a problem with something. What was it? I can't remember. Last week was the tips. Where's our tip jar, dude? Tip jar. Oh, oh we got to get tips. Well, well all right. Well, man. tip jar's right. over. This week, I don't know if you can see this or not, coffee cup, coffee grounds, ladies and gentlemen. I thought you were gentlemen. gardening. <laughs> Looks like I was gardening. Now, there's a little bit too much soil in there to be gardening. Uh, you know, this is a peeve I've had for quite a while. Yeah. I go out to get a cup of coffee. This was at my local farmer's market, but usually it's uh, other places, uh, a little bit more well-known. Yeah, they do it too. Um, you get a cup of coffee, and as you're pouring it, you can see... It, like, garden soil floating in it and it, it just annoys me so i come back i take this cup and i pour it into my coffee machine through the uh filter filter and then redo it oh my gosh wow how tough a... is it you get a bag you throw it into the coffee filter none of it should <sighs> that's what we get for that wow how that, annoying. That, that's all i'm gonna say because i'm getting really worked up about it but please yeah, know. you know if Settle you work down. at a coffee shop or at a donut shop or you know if you're a 
whatever. Pour the coffee into the into the paper thing and make an old guy happy. Yeah, here's a question for the audience who's uh, on board right now. Tell us your favorite coffee, whether it be like Wawa, oh, Dunkin' good. Donuts, yeah, okay. um, a Starbucks, um, I don't know. Whatever place you go to get coffee. Where do you go get coffee that you recommend wherever you are? Whether you're in the local area here or down south or out west or way out west of California, where do you go to get your coffee? We have a if new, like uh, Wegmans is a new, uh, kind of like a high-end grocery store in the area. And they have a lot of good cheeses there. they got some great cheeses. That's cheese. all I hear about is cheese. Uh, what else do they have at well, Wegmans? Well, they have a nice little coffee shop uh, oh. up in front, and I got a latte there the other day, and it was fabulous. Wow, okay. Uh, so Probably about $1.50 cheaper than the big, the big one. Wow. Uh, okay, cool. So, any, anywho. You know, getting yeah. back to the coffee grind, sometimes it happens to me at home when the coffee filter side flips down... Because I didn't put it in the thing just right, it falls over, and then you end up with a cup of coffee like that. Right, but in your defense, you're not a professional. Uh, c correct, I'm not a professional. You are a weekend, well, not a weekend coffee, uh, but you're not a professional coffee person. Right. What do they call that, a barista? They got names for them, and they can't even put the coffee in the... Can we please move on? Coffee Associate. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's get to our uh, joke. If you notice, folks, I'm wearing a different hat today. You know why? Uh, you forgot your Because I forgot my hat today. Fortunately, Brother Keith has a Smacking Jack Another hat, smack too. Jack and it actually kind of matches his shirt. Knows yeah. a little bit color mm -hmm. Oh, the other thing is, I'm wearing uh, my brand new uh, embroidered SmackingJack.com shirt. Golf shirt? Is that what they yeah, are? Or polo? Shirt, or, polo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. has a collar on Yeah, they're very nice, actually. Yeah. I got one. I'll wear it next week. We don't want to wear it. We don't want yeah, to wear twins like here. Look alike. Yeah, right. Uh, Christina's Embroidery, State Road and Media, 60 State Road and Media. Yeah, uh, Jim Ross is on. Good to see you again, Jim. It's yeah, been a couple of weeks. Um, Terry's on. Yay, Linda. I think I said hi, Carly. Always in my own kitchen, Mr. Coffee. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. cool. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's pretty much where I do uh, most of my coffee drinking to make you. Now I set the, uh, the timer. By the time up, I get back from my run, coffee is it's done. It's all ready to go. Of course, okay. the last thing I want when I get done my run is a yes. cup of coffee. Okay, let's okay. get on to our jokes. Let's folks. do it. On to our jokes. All right, where are the jokes? Okay, so remember, these come out of the Jokopedia, so don't get too upset. And don't bother looking for it. There's only one copy, and we have it. That's right. It happens to be right here in my hands. All right, joke number one. What do you get when you cross a chicken with chewing gum? What? Chicklets. <laughs> what do chickens do when they're in love? What? They give each other pecks. <laughs> very good, very good. All right, why was the chicken team so bad at baseball? Why? They kept hitting foul balls. <laughs> Again, don't blame us, folks. One more. Yes, yes. One more. Why was the little boy afraid of the turkey? Why? He heard it was a goblin. Very, very, very good. Very good. Joke of the is always, yeah. always good. Always good. Okay. So let's move on. Uh, let's not turn that down all the way. I want to make sure we do have sound. But I, when I hear the sound come through, it, it distracts me. And it does not take much to distract either one of us. Because we are one the same when it comes to being distracted. <laughs> Wake up, Pete. Oh, what? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. It's our, uh, something, it's a Letterman trait. Yeah. Anyway. Distraction is. Hey, uh, very Joe, simple. what's yeah. going on with the website? Uh, you've been working on it. Okay. How, how what's different from last week? Okay. So going? let's take a look at our website and where we've done some updates here. Now, we went over a few things last week. You noticed probably already that we have, these are like the, the, the real high products from the 4% group. Uh, these are, uh, di these are programs or courses that you can partake in. Um, to to learn how to drive traffic to your site, whether you're um, internet marketing or if you have a standalone business, okay, it's, it's creating um, creating a larger presence on on the website for whatever business you're in, whether it be internet marketing, uh, picture framing, um, realtors, painters, whatever you know, lawyers and so forth. So that's what uh, these products here are, are really kind of aimed at. What I thought I'd do is add some products down here that we talk about on our show. Okay. And eventually I'm going to put a video. We're going to have a video right up top here. 
and it's going to go over why we have these products down here. You know, okay. we just spent 10 minutes talking about coffee, so it's no wonder we have we're, these we're into products coffee. Down here. Okay. So now you're probably wondering, some of you, how did we get these Amazon products on our page? Okay. Well, first off, uh, so this is how this is how our page looks as it is. Let's go to the Amazon website. Um, so I see a product that I'd like to promote um, that I like. Let's say it's this coffee grinder here. So you find the coffee grinder, okay, and you click on the coffee grinder like I did, and then I go up here and I get a text plus image um, site or a link, okay? Okay. I take that and I copy it, control copy, and then I'm going to go to one of my pages that I have open ready to go. So I click here, this is back office of our website. And again, this can be um, on a blog, and I'm gonna talk about that next week. One of the easiest ways to just kind of start a website is basically a blog. We'll talk about that next week. Okay. Remind me. Okay. Okay. Um, so I go here to the edit, and I go down to add raw HTML. Don't let that scare you, HTML. It's just a lot of copying and pasting for our purposes. Okay, mm -hmm. we're not writing code, this, that, and everything. So I go here, um, and I paste in that code that I just got from the coffee maker. Okay. And I click on save changes. Okay. And that's all right in here. Let's go to preview and hopefully we'll see that um, this, this is actually a different uh, page. Okay. There it is right yeah. there. Notice I already had it over here. Okay. Um, but I just added it again there. So now when you click on this, okay, let's click there. It takes you to that product. Okay. On Amazon. You get a commission. We get a commission. Uh, you know, whether you know, this is a fifteen ninety nine product, so we'll get like a dollar fifty cents commission okay. if if we sell it. it mm -hmm. It's not too big of a deal. Okay, so that's how you put products on from Amazon. Now you're probably wondering how do you get to that point anyway? All right, how do you become an Amazon affiliate? Well, folks, it is free. Go to the bottom of the Amazon page, um, and you most all the way down at the bottom. All yeah. the way at the bottom. Oh, good lord! All the way at the bottom. Okay. And it says, um, sell on Amazon. Become an affiliate. Right? Yeah, where do you see? Well, uh, right, right there, okay. become an affiliate. So you just click on that link, which I'm not gonna do right now. Click on that link, fill in your information, um, and then you can become an affiliate. Now, if it asks you for a web page, um, that, that becomes a little sticky. So you might need to start your web page first and then become an affiliate. Some affiliates do that. Okay. You have to become, you have to have a web page to offer. Um, but I think with uh, Amazon, I don't think I needed to put in a web page. I don't think they okay. asked that question. Okay, so click okay. on become an affiliate, fill in the information, and then when you go on to your um, when you when you go on to your Amazon site, you're going to see all this up here. I can get just the text of the uh, product. I can get just the image, or I can get text and image. Okay. Um, to to promote these products. So. That's what we have here. So again, remember that um, that coffee mug warmer uh -huh. that we were so excited about? Yep. That I mean, that's that's like one of those must-have products. And I use that every day. I didn't think I was going to really use it. It's going to be on it the desk, is, and, and but right. I tell you what, you know, you, you, especially if you're well at school. Yep. You get interrupted at the shop. I get my coffee down. Customer comes in a half hour later. Come back. It's piping hot. It's still there. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So this thing if for ten dollars. You know, it works out to be like eleven dollars. Um, it's an awesome yep. must-have product. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's other products that are very similar to this, but we know that this one works. Yeah, and so Mr. Coffee has been have around. There. Yes, yeah, yes. Mr. Coffee's been around for a long time. So for eleven bucks, um, you know, we have Prime right now, so uh, it probably comes free of shipping yep, and, yep, free and all shipping, that stuff, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Now, some of this that you do need to have Prime in order to go a little bit deeper into the um, associate. Okay. It. Okay. Okay. So you do need to have Prime, which Stephanie does have on her account. So I might need to shift back and forth. I open a new Amazon account for my affiliates. Okay. Okay. So that is a very simple, easy way to add products to your page. Um, and again, you just copy the HTML, and there you have it. Okay. We good? Yeah. I just lost my uh... your feed. Is, is that still yeah, on? Mine, mine's here. Okay. Hey, Heidi's on. Yeah, hey, um, how are you okay. going? So here's a question for the group at large here. Tell us a product. Tell us a product in the comments down there <clears throat> that you just cannot live without. It's a good idea, yes. Okay, so we're not talking about 
you know, your house, your car. You know, just some simple little product around the house, around the office that you just can't live without. For us, we've decided, we've discovered that that little, little tiny coffee mug warmer, piece of plastic, is like, it's awesome. It's just, probably costs you about thirty-eight dollars a month to keep plugged in, but. We don't care. Yeah, we don't care about that. We love it. We love it. (laughs) Right? That's a business expense. (laughs) That's right. Yeah, it comes right off of my income tax. Okay, so let us know in the comments. What? Yes. What's what's a product? And and then maybe if we have time at the end here, we can look that product up. If not, we'll we'll uh, we'll send you the link later. Okay. Or or something. Good. That's okay. Good. Good. Very good. Very good. Yes. Moving right along here. Yes. Yeah. What do we got next, Eric? Well, we got some trivia coming up, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Now we're gonna do this a little bit different. You did trivia last week, and then you answered it, or I helped try Yeah, yeah, and then we kind of just spat out the answers. Right, so you're going to ask ask all the questions. So there is a little bit of a delay when we do this live to when you see it at home. And uh, we've gotten mentioned a couple weeks ago. It's like, well, by the time we answer, you've already answered. So we're going to let it sit for a minute. We'll ask the questions, and then we'll come back towards the end of the show and see if we got any answers from you guys. Yeah, so we'll do our trivia questions. And then we'll do our facts of the day. Okay. And come back to the trivia, trivia answers. answers. Okay. All it's right. Almost like it was rehearsed. <laughs> okay. Here we go, folks. Okay. Let's turn up our music a little bit. So we, of course, have to have a soundtrack. I might oh. even change the soundtrack, but can't do that now. All right. Let's get on to our. We can't even hear it now. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, there we go. There okay. we go. All right. Let's get way over here to our trivia. You okay. there? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Cool. Let, let it All roll. Right. When referring to the test taken for entrance into the U.S. military, what does ASVAB stand for? All right. Mm. What does ASVAB stand for? Number two. Filipino First Lady Imelda Marcos was famous for her very large collection of what? Most Very good people, one. yes. Most are people are going to get that one. Is that from the eighties or nineties? Yeah. So, yeah. Somewhere mm, I think might be the yeah. late eighties. Who was the commander of the Confederate Army during the Battle of Gettysburg? Okay. okay. I had a pretty good guess with that one. What Catholic prayer lends its name to a very long forward pass thrown with time running out in American oh, football? Oh, man, these are pretty man. good. Yeah, these I know, are... know very little about football, and I'm not Catholic. <laughs> That's right. All right, so what's the name of that prayer, okay? On the popular social website, website Reddit, what does AMA stand for? AMA stand for, mm. I, I hardly even know about Reddit. So, okay, what does it stand for, Reddit? A sounder is the term used to refer to a group of what type of animal? Mm. All right. Okay. A sounder, what type of animal? In what two-act ballet does a toy maker's goddaughter travel to the land of sweets on Christmas Eve? Ah, oh, these are easy. These are easy, okay? What do the letters CPU stand for when referring to the brains of a computer? Yeah. Now, if you were paying attention last week, you know this one. Yes. Right? Okay. And we have one more here. This is also from last week. Sidney Car- Carton is the central character in what Charles Dickens novel? Okay. okay. Right. We are going to come back in just a few right, minutes, we'll folks, sit. to we'll see what our... Um, and we're already getting... Uh, we're getting some responses yeah, we're getting, there. Yeah. 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 Very good. All right. Okay. Good, 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 yeah. good. All right. So let's go through them real we quick. Put never, we haven't put everybody to sleep yet. We're, yeah, 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 wow, we're still, they're still yeah. here. Okay. <laughs> All right, ASVAB, what's it stand for? Uh, what's uh, Imelda Marcos famous for? What was the commander of the Confederate Army? Come on, folks. What Catholic prayer lends us the very long forward pass? Um, popular red site Reddit, what does AMA stand for? A sounder is a term used to refer to what group of animal? Uh, Two part. Uh, toy maker, Lana Sweets on Christmas Eve. What is that one? What does CPU stand for? Sydney Carton is the central character in what Charles Dickens novel? Okay, let's go on okay. to our um, facts of the day. We're gonna come back to see who did what there. And uh, yeah, and you know what? Don't cheat, folks. Come on, don't look at somebody answering. Yes, yeah, right, right. And right. then type in your own answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Under the original <laughs> terms of the U.S. Constitution, the president could not choose his vice president. Instead, it was the candidate with the second most votes. Uh, and that's actually what I knew. Huh. And I, and I can see where that kind of became not uh, maybe an awkward right, situation, right? Yes. right? 
All right. More Africans have access to cell phone service than piped water and electricity. I believe that. That's interesting, right, but yep. we can understand how that has happened, yeah. The U.S. tried to purchase Greenland from Denmark for U.S. $100 million in 1946. Wouldn't that be cool? You try, you know, you go to um, Greenland, which is very cold, mm-hmm. or you could go to Hawaii, which is, uh, you know, I can't <laughs> right. like, right. polar opposites. <laughs> <laughs> A cano- uh, uh, listen to this one. A coconut has been detained by Maldi- Maldivian police in 2013 on suspicion of vote rigging in a key presidential election. Nice. <laughs> wow. Man, Holy cow. They give us more- a comment on that. What do you yeah. think about that one? They have folks? more problems wow. than we do. Yeah. Okay. If you spent one day on each of the islands in the Philippines, it would take you almost 21 years to visit them all. That's wow, pretty amazing. Yes, it is. I can't wow. believe there's that many islands. <clears throat> Tokyo has been destroyed from earthquakes and tsunamis from 1608 to 1945, on average, once every five years. Holy cow. Yeah, man, talk about rebuilding. Mm-hmm. Ooh. The Atlantic bluefin tuna, when flooding fishermen, can have such high bursts of muscle activity that they cook their own flesh. Holy cow! Is that crazy? That weird, like a. And then you know when you catch a thing, you can like eat it right there. Uh, yeah. So right. it's yeah. never really. Uh, what is that? Uh, what is that? Raw tuna. Uh, well, let's just call it raw tuna. Raw tuna. There's another right. question for you guys. <laughs> okay. All right. It was to Western Union that Alexander Graham Bell and his co-inventors first took their patent for the telephone. But its chairman said it was nothing but a toy. Uh, wow. You hear those stories all the time, right? Wow. The world's largest Spanish-speaking country is Mexico, mm-hmm. followed by the U.S. I yeah, find that okay. very interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're big countries. There is a note in the in the end credits of Frozen, the movie Frozen, stating that Disney does not support the consumption of boogers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll have to look for that. All right. Okay, now here is an interesting one. The uh, oh, I can't scroll down. The Mayans drilled holes in their teeth to fit semi-precious stones in. Is that cr- wow. Could you imagine, like, how did they drill those holes way back then? Like, uh, what was that like? Uh, and they uh, definitely didn't have any uh, I don't think anesthesia. Had, uh, and that's like the original grill, you know, like some of the rap guys. Uh, right. Grills. Right. It's the original yeah. grill. In 2015, two con men sold a fake Goya painting for 1.5 million, what's that, pounds? I pounds. Know, yeah, pounds. Pounds, yeah. Only to find out that all the money was counterfeit. Nice. That is. That's awesome. That's great. All right, just a couple more. Texas, New York, and California all have economies bigger than Russia. That's kind of interesting. Most Converse sneakers have a very thin layer of felt applied to their soles in order to legally classify them as slippers. This saves the company more than 33% in import tariffs. Can you believe that? Wow. Yeah, interesting. We'll all tell right. Donald that. This is interesting. French entertainer Mike Michel Litito ate a whole Cessna airplane and was awarded a bronze plaque by the Guinness Book of World Records. He was so honored that he ate the plaque. Now, <laughs> think about that. Eating a Cessna airplane. Like... All the plastics, the metals, the... Uh, yeah, I mean, is this guy still alive? Yeah. I don't know. We're going to have to look that up. Yes. All right, and... The Eye of the Tiger song was created to be the theme for Rocky III because Queen wouldn't give Sylvester Stallone the rights to use Another One Bites the Dust. Wow. Yeah, all right. And that is it, folks. That is it for our facts of the day. Okay. Very good facts. All right. So now... Now what are we going to do? All right. Let's go back to our trivia answers. Keith's going to be the... the, Oh, great. Moderator over here, yeah, just right. to see if we got some correct responses on this, uh, okay? Okay, I see that. All right. Let's see where this starts out. So okay. here we go. Uh-huh. Let's mute our music for the moment. Okay. And go back to our facts of the day. Somebody give us a woohoo if you got them correct, too, okay? Woohoo. Okay, so here we go. Back to the facts. Can we see that now? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. When referring to the test taken for entrance into the U.S. military, what does ASVAB stand for? Answer is what? What were some of the answers that we, uh, we, we didn't get have anything there? there? No. Anything? Uh, okay, folks. It stands for Armed Services Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. Wow. <laughs> Very good. Very strange. When I mm-hmm. when I went to get a battery for the van a couple weeks ago, they didn't ask me 
if you was, add aptitude to right. actually buy that yeah, was not yeah. an option yeah. <laughs> okay okay all right filipino first lady imelda marcos was famous for her very large collection of what and Linda comes up with shoes, correct? Yeah, hey, how many we got shoes, yeah? Nice. Okay, uh, shoes! And Jim Russell, yeah, I'm sorry, Jim, yep. got it. Yep, we got a few of them, Dinner. Great job, guys. All right, here we go. Next one. Who was the commander of the Confederate Army during the Battle of Gettysburg? Hey, do we have anybody there? Do we have no. anybody there? Uh-oh. Okay, no, no, no. folks, it was the obvious answer. Robert Edward Lee. Robert yeah, E. Lee. Okay, sure, right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Now we learned something there. Okay. What Catholic prayer lends its name to a very long forward pass thrown with time running out in American football? Uh, we have it. Linda again gets it. Uh, what'd you say? Hail, Hail Mary. Mary. Yes. Okay, Woo-hoo. good job. All right. On the popular social web- website, Reddit, what does AMA stand for? Uh, we anybody? Have nothing there yet. Yeah, does anybody use that that we know of here? Yeah, All right. I... Ask me anything. Oh, Ask okay. me anything. All right. A sounder is the term used to refer to a group of what type of animal? Nothing here. Yeah, I'm... Wild swine, pigs, or boars. Okay. Huh, no kidding. This is kind of boring, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> In what <laughs> two-act ballet does a toy maker's uh, goddaughter travel to the land of sweets on Christmas Eve? I think somebody got this one, right? Oh, yes, Linda. And, uh, yeah, Linda, she's doing pretty good today. All right, answer is the Nutcracker. nutcracker. Oh. What do the letters CPU stand for when referring to the brains of a computer? Did anybody remember this from last week, Keith? Linda, again, core processor unit. Core Central processor unit. Oh, no. Unit. Sorry, Central. So <laughs> Central okay. processing unit. That's fine. You got it. Okay. Like, uh, two uh, that's pretty good, yes. All right, last one here, folks. Sidney Carton is the central character in what Charles Dickens novel? And anybody get the answer for no, this one? we don't have anything there. Nothing there? All right, here we go. A Tale of Two oh, Cities. okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's one of his more famous uh, novels. I remember... Uh, tale of Two Cities. I remember a Christmas Carol. Core processor. I wonder what that answer is. Was that the last of the uh, trivia questions? I guess so. Okay. Anyway. All right. Let's move right. Yeah. Away. Okay. <laughs> so that's it for trivia. Back to all that yes, stuff. Yes, yeah. wow. Very good. Very good. All right. Okay. Let us know how you. Uh, it if is you like time. That. If the time serves me correct, Uh-oh, we're just about yeah. out of time. We are. It is time so we better for get the moving. Birthday minute. It's time for the Smacking Jack's Birthday Minute. Birthday Minute. Birthday Minute. Birthday Minute. Birthday. Okay. <laughs> okay. Happy Birthday. Oh, my goodness. I just. Happy every Birthday. Every week it explodes That's a little bit more. That's an eruption of celebration. Oh, 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 happy God. Birthdayness. You know what? I do want to point this out. It just occurred to me that I've had this balloon, and it is still <laughs> full. Of, is it c- completely air? Yeah, full that's air. of whatever is in there? Right. Um, I've had this for at least two years. Right. Wow. Remember, I pulled this out of the trash. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, whoa, we can use that. Unbelievable! <laughs> Unbelievable! So, if you want to invest in anything, yeah. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, happy birthday, Blue. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, we got some, uh, uh, a lot of uh, celebrity birthdays today. Just going to read them off really quick. Uh, Rosalind Carter, the first lady, uh, Jimmy Carter's wife, 1927. Caitlin also, one of my favorite people from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. She was born in 1975. Madeline Stowe, another beautiful, beautiful actress. Um, I don't see her too much anymore. Born 1957. Roman Polanski. Uh, yeah, he's a, a, a very infamous uh, director. Had something to do with Sharon Tate, was married to her for a little bit. Uh, uh, right, right, right. And he right. had to leave the country forever. Uh, 1933, he was born. Dennis Leary, comedian, uh, probably best known right now for doing the Ford trucks. Ford filled oh, truck. Oh, right, yeah. right. Yeah. 1957, he's, got, he's a good comedian. I like him. Uh, Shelly Winters. Now, she goes back quite a ways for a lot of our audience, but I remember most in the Titanic. Ah, Shelly yes. Winters, 1920. Actually, she was a uh, right in there with... Uh, mm-hmm. Marilyn Monroe. I mean, they were kind of oh, equals okay. at the yep. time. Uh, Patrick Swayze from Dirty Dancing. He hasn't been with us for a while, but anyway, he was born 1952. Martin Mull, one of my favorite. Uh, America Tonight, Fernwood Tonight was the most silliest. Uh, it was like a spoof on the uh, late night show back in the 70s. Uh, he was born 1943. And Robert Redford. 
born 1937. Wow. Yeah. Robert Butch Cassidy. Yep, yep. Yeah. Sundance. Yeah. Sundance. Uh, okay. Uh, well, happy. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday. Folks. Yes. Yep. Yep. Happy okay, birthday. Okay. A little bit closer to home. Yeah, here. A little bit closer to home. All right. Here we go. Starting off the, the birthday Let's get minute. The drums go. Birthday minute today, Saturday, the 18th of August. Okay. Yeah, Who we got? Have Leslie, Lily, Matt, and Carolyn. Happy birthday, folks. Okay. All right. Moving on to, to tomorrow, Sunday the 19th, we have Allegra, Bill, Brian, Jim, and Mark. Happy Ooh, birthday happy tomorrow, birthday. guys. Monday the 20th, we yep. have Mike. Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday. Tuesday, the 21st, we have Kelly. Happy birthday, Kelly, on Tuesday. Wednesday, the 22nd, we have Joe and Kathy. Happy birthday, folks, Happy birthday. on Wednesday, the 22nd. On the 23rd, we have Robin. Happy birthday, Robin, on the 23rd. Friday, the 24th, we have Bill, Joyce, and Mike. Happy birthday next Friday, folks. Hope you have a great day. And on Saturday, and the 20th. Fifth, we have cousin Jennifer, uh, happy birthday. Judy, Julia, and Mike. Yay! Happy birthday, folks. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> oh, <where's my> <laughs> this is doing as bad as I am. We got to get some. Yeah. All right. We so happy birthday to all those folks who have a birthday today and coming up this week. We wish you a okay. very, very happy day. All right. all right. Out of the birthday minute we go. Yeah, hold on a second. Well, that's not good. Let's do that again. There you go. Alright. Yeah, a little glitch there. That was our technical glitch there. Sometimes it's just uh, the, the sound files just don't lock into this uh, broadcasting system. Yes, but, you know, yeah. if that's the only issue we have, it's, it's not so bad. You did pretty well today. We did, okay we did pretty today. well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've yeah. come to the end of another show. Thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, it went really quick today. It, it did it go was a, quick. It was a full show. Yeah. Uh, tell us what you think. And once again, uh, uh, like and share, right? Is that yeah. what you like and share? Comment, uh, like and share comment, is, like and is share. good. Yeah, we appreciate that. Yeah, we're going to come up with some uh, some giveaways in the next couple of weeks. we got to yeah. get some more gifts out there, so... <coughs> so right um, next next week we're going to talk about a very simple way to set up a web, web page okay. and um, and then you can add some of those products if you want to do something like that uh, you know in, into what you have there okay okay so I, I think uh, I think he that's is about it yes I'm about to expire so um, once again remember you deserve a thought of your own so be in touch we'll see you next week good night all right take Bye. care see you next time <laughs> good morning good afternoon good night